Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today um, we're going to be doing these little fabric flowers, but we're continuing on with our true junk, junk journal. So <clears throat> with some of these, it's not completely junk that I have here, but I'm going to show you how to make them completely out of junk. Things that you typically throw away. Not old t-shirts, <clears throat> no buttons, none of that stuff but actual stuff that you typically throw away. So sorry, I'm just turning around to grab some supplies. <laughs> so for the first one, first flower here, we need to cut um, circles. Okay, let me move this because this is, I'm grabbing this too soon. Okay, <laughs> a bit scattered brain here. Okay, so we need to cut circles out of dryer sheets. So what I did is I stacked, I stacked like uh, seven jar sheets together. I traced circles on them and I used, for the big ones, I used this little jar that's about, it gives me two and five eighths inch circle. So I just set that down and traced around it. Um, for the medium sized ones, I used this little container. It gives me a two inch circle. And then for my teeny tiny ones, I used a one, I used this glue bottle, which gives me um, one and three fourths inch circle. So I just like set it down, trace it with a Sharpie. I would cut them down to this. I, I pinned, you know, of course in the center. Cut them down to this, and then I cut them out completely. Okay, and then that gives me all of the petals that I need, because I have six, you know, um, layers here. So let me move this. <laughs> Sorry for being a little bit confusing there. Um, so then we take our circle, and we fold it in half. Now we fold it into fourths. And I like to take the folded side and hold it over here because I want to stick it first. So I got my needle and my thread. You need about 12 inches of thread. And by 12 inches, I mean 12 inches once it's folded. Um, before it's folded, it's going to be about 24 inches. I just eyeball it. You don't need much. And so coming up here close to the camera, I'm just going to weave in and out along the bottom. And then pull it down onto my thread. As you can see, I've already got my other five on here, so I have a total of six. And then I'm gonna kind of flip them all around the right way. They kind of like to turn around on me. Okay, listen, we're trying to do something here. You need to bunch them up. You can flip around after you bunch them if you want to. And some people like to tie a knot on the end of their thread and then start sewing them on. I don't like to do that. It's preference, do as you please. Um, I like to just leave it open. I don't ever have an issue with them falling off. And then I take my two threads and I just begin to tie them in a knot. Be careful when doing this. You do not want to wrap your thread around one of your petals. I made that mistake. Had to cut my thread and just start over. So, although these do not take very long to do, so it wasn't a big deal. Still, it's just better that we do it right the first time, right? Don't want to do something twice if you don't have to. So I just kind of tie it three times and a knot. And then I find my scissors. Turn these threads. Okay, and then I just try to fix the petals here and decide which side I like better, which side I want to be the front. I like that side. So for the center piece to be true junk, I have this um, Hall's freezer wrapper on, on the inside. It's like this pretty foil. And I've got my hole punch. And I'm just gonna punch the hole out here. I'm going to get some fabric tack. I need to lay my bottle down so that we're not taking too long. I'm going to put some here. So make sure I have enough. And then that's our centerpiece. 
And I don't feel like anybody's going to look at that and go, oh, she made that out of a dryer sheet and a Hull's Breezer package, you know. You could also just use any aluminum foil that you have laying around. So there's that one done. And then for the next flower, I'm taking the, um, that, this one, you can make them out of either three of the sizes of circles. This one though was made out of the two inch circles. And just to give you an idea, uh, this one that I'm going to set right beside it was made out of the one and three fourths inch circles. And then for the big circles, uh, the two and five eighths, I had made this one. And that's just aluminum foil that I had rolled up. So that was my first attempt <laughs> at making these. So for the next one though, we're going to fold our circle a little bit different. I'm going to try to get close to the camera so you can kind of see how it is I'm doing this because I don't really know how to explain it. So you fold it over like that. kind of looks like a little burrito shell to me. And then we're going to pan here. And we're going to take another pin and pin down here. And then we'll grab my other supplies. So again, I had already done several of these. So you wouldn't have to watch all of that. So I've taken my needle and my thread. I like to take one of my pins out, whichever side I'm going to be sewing on. Because the pin just kind of feels like it's in my way. Just weave it in and out. My needle. And pull it down like so. And then I had put two needles on here. You can do one side and then do the other side. But for the purpose of the video. And it not taking forever. I just went ahead and threaded two needles. And been working with two needles. So again. Weave it in and out here. And I did tell you guys, those were dryer sheets, right? It's dryer sheets that we're using, not fabric, but dryer sheets. It's a bit frazzled in the beginning of the video, so I don't know what all I said. Okay, so cutting our threads to remove our needles. And these are projects I feel like you could take with you. Um, I have a push pin holder, there it is. Um, but easily put it in like a small makeup bag or something like that and take it with you once you have your circles pinned the way that you um, whichever flower you're making or all of them and we're cutting in between these threads don't cut your threads but you take uh, your needle your thread a pair of scissors your circles all pinned and I think that's just about it. That's all you need for these to be able to take them with you. And then whenever you get back home, you can put your centerpieces on. So again, we're going to bunch this up. Also, it could be a great pastime while you're watching TV. Simple little project here. Unlike most, <laughs> most of the other ones, it seems like. The majority of them I will not take with me. It's just too chaotic, too much supplies needed. Too much to do, too difficult while you're like riding in a car or sitting at a doctor's appointment. Just no thank you. Okay, thread, I need you to come through. There we go. Sorry, I was off camera there trying to get the thread to pull through the, the loop that I had made. Okay, again, I'm just tying these three knots here and then I'll cut my thread. Okay, so you need to do the same exact process. This was the big uh, two and five eighths inch circles. The two and five eighths inch circles. Okay, I'm trying to readjust this because it's become a mess. And they always seem to do this. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, if this is just the way it goes. But anyways, <laughs> there is that. So, and then, so two and five eighths inch, and then do the same thing with the two inch, and we're going to glue them together, one on top of the other. Okay. 
Okay. And then we're going to take our uh, punch out of our hauled breezer package. And we're going to glue that in the center as well. You can use beads, buttons, um, bling, uh, half or flat backed pearls, I think they're called. Anyways, something like that. You can use whatever it is you want to, uh, but for the purpose of it being a true junk journal and that we are working on right now, I'm using true junk. <laughs> you can use fabric to make these. You can use anything that you want. Again, for the purpose of it being truly junk, I'm using uh, jar sheets instead of fabric. So there's that little flower. Isn't that cute? So we have these two flowers now for our true junk junk journal again um, you'll probably have seen these ones or you'll probably see these ones at some point in other journals and they're also made out of jar sheets this was dyed with coffee this one was dyed with blue food coloring gel food coloring and this one has coffee um, and blue and pink gel food coloring and then they got different centerpieces. One's got a button, one's got a half uh, or flat back pearl. And this one has a flat back pearl. And this one's got some little like sequins bling thing on it. So again, you have options. Again, you can use fabric. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some sort of inspiration. And I hope you have fun making these if you make them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you'll see my hands in my next video. I hope to see you in the comments. Thanks, guys. Bye.